Okay, I just want to give you a short video, show you the Polaris flying inflatable boat. Wing that's on top up there. It's a delta wing, like a lot of ultralights. Uh, this particular boat has a tilting trailer, all galvanized, like new. It's uh, a lot more expensive than what most people use and had uh, brackets. So you can see the wing can actually sit right here on the side. Those are just got a couple pins on to hold them on there, but they do sit up straight. Well, as you can see, it would just basically sit right here next to the boat, which makes it uh, really nice on the road. Carry it on the side. It's a lot easier than putting it way up here, which a lot of people carry them up above the, the uh, muffler there and down through the center, but that's a lot harder to get the wing up there on the sides. Uh, real nice. This is the later version with the serrated hull on it. Maybe I can get a good shot of that. You can kind of see the serrations in the hull, which makes it uh, go through the water easier, take off easier. I made some uh, small modifications in it on this uh, bar here where you put your feet, which controls the rudder. I've uh, lengthened this and put a longer uh, bar here. The original was just a bar uh, much shorter, which had your feet in here, and when you turned all the way, your toes were basically jamming into the center bar here. It didn't have these, it was just a bar. And uh, a little too short, cram your feet in there, and, uh, and then it had a throttle out here on the edge. Well, this is much uh, smoother just being able to rest your feet in there like that and then it gives you a little more uh, torque on the bar so it steers a little easier I've made a uh, piece to go on the top up here to throw your Jesus strap which is what this is it's a strap that goes usually it just you throw it around there and you throw it up over your wing and loop it but now as you can see I'm gonna use this at the top bolt it up there with some u-bolts and then hook the jesus strap to that and throw it over the wing i think it's a little nicer so that's just kind of a prototype uh, out of metal if i like it all figured i'd make something out of aluminum as you can see the seat's still like new i had the exhaust uh, ceramic coated in the uh, jet hot uh, marine gold of course the gold kind of burns off you can see it looks pretty gold right there and this is the uh, 582 blue head which is a dual ignition got a five gallon tank uh, it doesn't have the level indicator these uh, usually break and then they leak gas and so I just made a uh, adapter to fit in there and close it off although it does have a tap where you can put a electronic uh, gauge in it get your fuel level that way it's got the original prop well it's only got 17 hours on it so it's one of the lowest hour uh, boats that you'll find anywhere other than buying a brand new one at 35,000 or whatever they are now that was a lot what they were a couple years ago when I checked it I did put a nice uh, Odyssey uh, It's a high output, it's a special, like a military type uh, battery. Puts out a lot of amperage, starts easier. There's your dual ignition. Two coils. So if you lose one, it'll still run uh, just fine on the other. This is your box here with the key. Put in here, turn it, turn your ignition on. Now what I did here on the uh, uh, throttle, your throttle, normally your bar, your bar for your wing is going to be about right here from about here to here is more or less where your wing is so I hooked that uh, right up here it's an ATV style throttle it fits, fits right here on the bar and uh, gives you an ATV style throttle also made a little bracket uh, figured I would mount my gauges up uh, right up above my head up here instead of having them way down here which is a stock location 
as you can see it's got uh, 17 hours you've got rpm and then water temperature but i've also got a dual uh, exhaust gas temperature gauge the pickups and everything you need uh, i have that i uh, didn't install them but i figured i would if i move my gauges uh, the gauges go with it it still has the original ores which are right here in case uh, you ever get stuck in the water basically you put those through there like that and then you have ores that you can push yourself back to shore So, it's in about as good a condition as you're going to find, uh, short of having a brand new one. And like I say, those are a lot better. Uh, a lot more money, let's put it that way. This pin, if you pull the pin, this trailer tilts. So, uh, it makes it a little bit easier to uh, get in and out of the water uh, in some situations. So it's a good sturdy trailer, about a $3,500 trailer that's got here to go with it. And then you've got the uh, additional air box, which some of them just have filters right on the carburetors. It's an air uh, silencer. I've also put new uh, boots here on, in this area uh, for the intake. Uh, they do tend to crack, so I've got brand new uh, boots there. There's a couple new things on here, but uh, props in good shape. As you can see, original prop. Everything's original on it. Uh, I did put some new cables on the uh, rudder. Upgraded to a little bit stronger cable. I've got a couple pictures of the uh, inside of the motor you can see it's not even really broken in but uh, it's a good-looking machine ready to fly I would get the uh, wing out here but it's uh, Laying in there where it's not easy for me to just get it out, so this will suffice, but the wing's still like new. It's actually uh, with the feet on there, the way I did it, I think it's a little bit uh, nicer actually than the way it comes. And uh, moving the throttle up, I just easier to fly. I like it better that way. And it does have a secondary throttle, although it's broken, uh, the cable. And it's broken on it. It does have a cruise throttle right here. And yeah, there's, I got a cable. Oh, I just stuck it in there. But uh, that could be hooked back up. And then that's your choke on the other side. So uh, down here you have a, an arrangement here for closing the bottom so you can actually capture some. Uh, water in the bottom uh, once you land you can pull this shut it closes off the hole in the back and uh, it allows it to hold water in here to give you a little bit better uh, uh, you know if you've got waves and so forth gives you some weight in here helps you uh, stabilize you a little bit and then the secondary one uh, this one here is for the rudder and it's uh, spring loaded as you can see, so the cable pulls it down, and then when you get in the air, you release it, and it goes back up. So that's uh, not all we can say about it. I've got another one running uh, with the motor running, so that's all we're going to do on this one. Thanks.